Hi listeners, welcome back to the Calsoft podcast series. I'm your host Vaishnavi Kulkarni, marketing manager at Calsoft. We are back with the series of podcasts around service now integration and our expert speaker for today's Calsoft podcast is Manish Patel. He has been uh, he's been called back on the podcast on demand after his first successful podcast on service now integration. In this podcast he will cover more about different integration techniques and methods provided by service now to give you a little background of manish manish has a proven track record in the information technology and services industry showcasing proficiency in java c html jelly and javascript he serves as a service now expert at calsoft and currently holds the role of associate architect actively contributing to calsoft service now practices manish has played a pivotal role in the development of service now solutions for various domains including storage and virtualization so manish could you tell our audience very briefly like how this podcast will be different than our previous podcast where we covered basics of service now integration sure and thanks vishnu for your introduction hello all uh, in last podcast i had briefed about outbound integration offered by service now with one example this podcast is also related to service now integration but this one is next in this series which will give more idea about different integration techniques and methods provided by service now oh that's great i'm very sure our audience is going to love this podcast as they enjoyed your previous podcast as well it's always good to have you on podcast manish i think before we jump on to the topic i wanted you to just give us a brief about what exactly is integration we have been hearing a lot of things about application integration software integration this integration that integration so what exactly is integration in simple language okay uh, the term integration itself tells us so what integration is but uh, in software industry in simple words we can say software integration is nothing but the process of exchange of information through apis now api is nothing but application programming interface which is nothing but a standard to exchange the data to communicate between two applications right software integration is exchange of information yeah. through apis across software mm-hmm. applications or devices across your it organization to improve system productivity efficiency as well as agility once mm-hmm. applications are connected they can exchange data in real time or as and when needed okay okay that uh, i think um, see because we have mix of audience so uh, i think there will be few who are very new to the subject so this i think will really help them next my next question is so what is integration in case of service now and what are the different techniques or methods that we usually use when it comes to service now integration okay so in general we discussed what is integration in software yeah. industry but now let's see what is integration with respect to service now so as per the product document released by service now integration is again exchange of information between now platform and another system or source here exchange of information is happening between the provider which can be a server and a consumer which we call as a client mm-hmm. so there are two types of integration supported by service now one is inbound and the other one is outbound okay so uh, in this case what is inbound integration uh, in case of service now and are there any modules methods or features that are available to build this in- inbound integration uh, in service now yeah sure let's talk about inbound integration in service now so yeah. inbound refers to request made by other applications to read create update or data delete the data which is stored within service now mm-hmm. so in inbound request third party application outside of service now uh, that application will request an action through service now api we already discussed what is an api yeah. so that application will request particular action like read create delete or update through service now apis so different apis which are supported by service now includes table api mm-hmm. attachment api mm-hmm. and email api so there are different inbound integration techniques which are supported offered by service now and to name few of them inbound soap then scripted rest email inbound integration and data source table transform map these are some of the mm-hmm. examples of inbound integration techniques supported by service now 
Oh, that's very interesting. Before we get into the details of this integration techniques, I mean, inbound integration techniques, would you quickly like to summarize what exactly is outbound integration? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we just saw what is inbound integration with respect to service now. Let's see what is outbound with respect to service now. So the term outbound refers to request made by service now to external application to read, create, update, or delete the data which is owned by the third party application. Okay. Okay. In outbound technique, ServiceNow acts as a web service consumer, which requests information from third party web service provider. The web mm -hmm. service provider then processes the request which is made by ServiceNow. And in return, that application provides you a status code and response body. Uh, when this response body is received by ServiceNow, ServiceNow acts as a web service consumer which extract the information received from third party tool and from that information they receive the details and then take an action so uh, likewise inbound integration there are different techniques supported by service now to build outbound integration uh, some of them are rest outbound soap outbound and export set schedule data export oh that's great now let's jump on to you know understanding this inbound integration techniques as well as outbound integration techniques. Uh, I think that will be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's start just, with inbound first, maybe. Inbound. Yes, yes, yes. So we just summarized what the different techniques provided by service now for inbound integration, right? Yeah. So yeah. let's see what are the different techniques that are available to build inbound integration within service now. Okay. Okay. Uh, the very first one is inbound SOAP. As a part of inbound SOAP, ServiceNow provides direct web service, SOAP web service import sets, and scripted SOAP web services. These are the three inbound integration techniques using SOAP. SOAP okay. is nothing but a protocol. It stands for Simple Object Access Protocol, and it is a way or, or standard you can say to communicate or to come uh, exchange data between two applications. And the strict format which is supported through SOAP is XML. Okay. Two applications can exchange data only in the format XML message. Mm -hmm. Apart from inbound SOAP, there is scripted REST API. Now again, REST stands for representation state transfer. Okay. This is a set of guideline. Unlike SOAP, which is a protocol, REST is architecture style for designing communication interfaces. Unlike SOAP, REST is not restricted to XML, but its choice of implementer, which media type to use for integration. So it support XML, JSON, plain text, mm -hmm. as well as HTML. The next inbound integration type is email inbound integration. Uh, inbound email is nothing but a mail sent to ServiceNow. The integration logic written within ServiceNow reads the incoming email and then executes an action in the response. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in business rules, business rules are triggered based on condition return. Similarly, mm -hmm. inbound email actions also uses condition to trigger the script or logic to take an action mm -hmm. on target table in service now. Okay. And the final one here is data sources and table transform map. Data sources defines what data should be imported. It can be Excel file. It can be imported from servers like LDAP or using JDBC database, or it can be imported using web services. Yeah, so these are the four techniques using which you can implement or build inbound integration within service now. Okay, one uh, very quick question, Manish. So as per your experience, uh, which of these is widely used? Which of these inbound uh, techniques is widely used? See, uh, if you're talking about inbound integration, the scripted REST gives you flexibility to implement integration. Okay. So yeah, scripted REST is, I will say, Mind widely it. used and offers you more advantages while building integration. Okay, great, great. Uh, now, should we jump on to the outbound uh, integration techniques? Yeah. Uh, okay. The outbound integration techniques supported by ServiceNow includes REST outbound, uh, then uh, SOAP outbound and export set schedule data export. Let's discuss what is REST outbound with respect to ServiceNow. ServiceNow's yeah. outbound REST functionality allows you to retrieve, create, update, or delete data on a web service server. Mm -hmm. 
that supports REST architecture. Okay. A REST message can be sent by REST workflow activity or integration hub or by using REST message V2 API provided by ServiceNow. When you are building ServiceNow's REST outbound integration, that requires you to provide endpoint information, authentication method, HTTP header, and HTTP methods. So this is REST outbound. Let's jump on to SOAP outbound. SOAP outbound in ServiceNow is nothing but consuming Vistel by providing authentication. Now mm -hmm. uh, you will ask what is Vistel? So it is a short mm -hmm. form of web service definition language, WSDL. Okay. It is an okay. XML document that describes this table schema and available operations. So this is another way through which you can implement outbound integration in ServiceNow. The third option using which you can build ServiceNow's outbound integration is export set and schedule data export. Okay. Export set enables you to push data outside of ServiceNow to external location. Mm -hmm. You can export data to remote system using mid server. So when you're talking about export set, there are two concepts. One is export definition. That means what data you want to export outside of ServiceNow. And the second concept is export target. That means where you want to export the data. Uh, export set supports multiple file types such as CSV, XML, Excel, and JSON. You can frequently push data to external location using export sets and uh, scheduled data export for reporting purpose or to preserve a snapshot of a data by setting up recurrent schedule export. Yeah, so these are the uh, different outbound techniques provided mm -hmm. by ServiceNow. Okay, so in this case, I'm assuming REST outbound would be the widely used one. Yes, exactly. Okay. REST, bound, REST outbound is more widely used in ServiceNow to build outbound integration. Okay. Okay, and I am getting a hang of service now integration. That's really great. Now, <laughs> oh, by, by the way, any, are there any readily available plugins uh, for integrations apart from you know these? Yeah, yeah. Something uh, that we can you know like plug and play. Yes, uh, we just discussed different techniques and uh, methods that service now offers to build integration. But you know. There are a few readily available plugins or applications which you can mm -hmm. just use and start implementing your integration. Uh, mm -hmm. Few of them are e-bonding. E-bonding mm -hmm. is a mechanism to integrate and synchronize data between two ServiceNow instances in the real time. Okay. This kind of integration is in between two ServiceNow instances. It includes scripted REST, table API, uh, import set API to build the solution. And this e bonding plugin is made available by ServiceNow only. Okay, okay. There is another plugin uh, using which you can build your integration solution. So, Integration Hub is a now platform application for process automation and integrations that uses common platform to interact with external platforms. Developers can use Integration Hub plugin to build reusable spokes and integration actions to execute request against external system. Okay. And apart from this two, uh, there are some scoped application available on ServiceNow store, which are built by vendors. You can either purchase them or some of them are freely available. So yeah, these are some of okay. the techniques through which you can implement integration within ServiceNow. Perfect, perfect. So uh, Manish, what exactly is uh you know, role of CalSoft when it comes to ServiceNow integration. Do you want to highlight any of the instances or examples where, you know, we helped our customers with ServiceNow integration or develop integration? Yeah, definitely. In last podcast, I had given one example. It was a real-time example, a very complex ServiceNow integration that we built for one of the okay. customer. Mm -hmm. So CalSoft works with clients to enhance their IT offerings. ServiceNow mm -hmm. integration built by CalSoft helps organization to better align and improve their IT services and processes with business goal. One such example where security integration plugin built by CalSoft has helped customer to reduce the gap between threat detection and response effectively with ServiceNow mm -hmm. security incident response. Uh, mm -hmm. SIR is ServiceNow's uh, incident response module. 
which we had implemented for one of the customer to manage the life cycle of security incidents. Okay. okay. Again, you know, through the implementation of organizations database integration with ServiceNow CMDB, mm -hmm. we help customer to keep their database up to date with latest changes, eliminate outages, drastically shorten the time it takes to rectify the outage and maintains compliance. Okay. Integration has also helped those customers to lower the expenses and administration overhead through cloud migration. Yeah, so these are some of the examples where CalSoft has helped mm -hmm. clients to build effective service now integration. Oh, that's amazing. I think there must be many things to share here, I'm very sure. So in case if audience wants to, uh, you know, no more case studies or, or applications where Calsoft has helped the customers uh, build this service now integration. Uh, you can write to us on marketing at redcalsofting.com and we'll share you the case studies. So Manish, I think that's all the time we have for today. I really want to thank you for sharing your valuable time with us and expertise and knowledge around service now integration. I think this podcast will help our audience build a basic understanding of ServiceNow integration techniques. And I really hope to see you again soon on this podcast uh, with another topic on ServiceNow. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. So this has been the Kaios of Podcast featuring Manish Patel. Stay tuned for our upcoming podcast on ServiceNow testing in this series of ServiceNow podcasts. Thank you for listening.